Hey, greetings, Tuberinos. How you doing? Well, I've already gotten started. I hope you have. Enjoy a little. Well, some of the sharper eyed among you may have noticed that door behind me. So in case you feel like sneaking up on me, I thought I'd show you a few of the sharp and pointy things around my desk. Yeah, that's right. Sharp and pointy things. Let's start with this. A miniature diving knife. Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad little unit actually. Got a nice little serrated edge. Comes with this, comes with this little sheath. Look at that. Try and say that after two beers. Six and a half percent, man. I'm telling you. Six and a half percent. Anywho. We were talking about the miniature diving knife. Mm -hmm. Cute little unit, like I was saying, serrated edge. Comes with this little plastic sheath that uh, when you plug it into that, as long as you uh, have it in that, and you drop that overboard, the sucker will float. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to worry about losing that. Very handy little unit. I first got this, uh, used it pretty much as a box opener in, at work, opening up paper supplies, etc. Very handy little toy. That's thing number one. Thing number two. A Leatherman Micra. Very handy little unit. This particular one has a pair of skizzers in it. Very useful for cutting uh, things. A nail file, etc. etc. Also has flat screwdriver and very sharp little blade very nice very nice very handy comes in handy for all kinds of things on the other side here we have a pair of tweezers a uh, bottle opener with tiny little flat screwdriver and a combination flat and crosshead screwdriver very handy little unit it does in fact even have a tiny little rule scale on the edge in both metric and standard. Comes in handy for a lot of different things. That's the second item. Third item would be this. My handy dandy little everyday carry knife. This particular one is a uh, one hand operated thumb lock. Very handy. Very quick and easy to operate. You can pretty much operate it open and close with one hand. If you want to get fancy, you can even do that. Yeah, very nice. Uh, very cute little... Hang on a second. A little something bear here. You know, a little, a little bear here. Very handy little unit. It has a pretty good sturdy blade. Very strong no movement this way at all sideways very little very strong body it has a full uh, metal plate on either side of the blade in the handle giving it a lot of strength thumb lock right there pretty much set up for right hand operation though I suppose you could uh, you know give it the finger on the left yeah yeah you could do it that way I suppose you could Myself, I'm right-handed. I pretty much operate it right-handed, but it works well opening and closing. Little belt clip on the back. Removable, but that's the only position it could be used in. Eh, I leave it on. D-ring on the end, complete with bottle opener. You never know. Might be handy. But uh, pretty good sturdy little unit. Strong blade. Bit of an opening in there, kind of weakens it a little bit, but, uh, <coughs> excuse me, what? That's the, uh, that's the bear talking. You'll have to forgive me. Hmm. Very handy. Little everyday carry unit. 
of a knife. Very cute. And comes out of the box extremely sharp. Good little um, hollow ground point blade with serrated edge here. Although oddly enough, for a right-handed operated weapon, the serrations are in fact on the left-hand side. So you kind of need to go that way for the serrations. I would have preferred them on this side. Eh, what do you want? 30 bucks Canadian at Walmart. Not bad. Not bad at all. And finally, the last pointy and sharp thing about my desk. This. Mm-hmm. I call this my tomahawk of attitude adjustment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A very handy little unit is in fact well balanced for throwing has a pretty good sharp little blade a straight blade you'll notice mm -hmm. we'll get into that in a second there's a reason for that it has a pointed spike on the edge which makes a very good pickaxe for breaking up hard frozen ground etc serves as a very good hatchet has a very good miniature axe but interestingly enough under Canadian law because it has a straight blade it is not an axe it is not a hatchet it is classified in fact as a throwing knife and because this blade is only two and a quarter inches long this little honey is in fact completely legal to carry around in Canada <laughs> go figure uh, uh, yeah but I don't yeah technically speaking I could there are lots of places though of course which have local laws that don't allow it um, bars government institutions etc certainly have the right to ban something like this but technically speaking I could walk down the street carrying this in the accompanying sheath and be perfectly legal in Canada. <laughs> Don't try and sneak up on me. You've been warned. Also comes in handy in case of zombie apocalypse. Canadian Atheist. Peace and long life to you.